let them know that when they need to, when they are ready, I will have a non-taxable state organization that can accept their donations <laughs> in the form of a church and I'm available for weddings. For the high church. Oh, well, man. You're like, it's not my fault. I woke up, I bathed myself in water that I blessed. I put, I put my robe on and I thought, it's just another Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I think it's the leather jacket. It's the leather jacket your robe. It, that's my, that's my royal cloak. Yeah. Uh, the royal holy cloak. Yeah. Holy cloak. And as your like sidekick guy, I also have the same leather jacket and just a shorter cut. Something like smaller. I know. <laughs> We shop together, we dress the same. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I started a cult, Robbie. I mean, you were gone, I had to do something, so I started a cult. Hey, I'm a member, man. I know. I love it. Member number one, house band. All of these guys, they signed up. They're in it. Robot Mike signed up. He's the bass man. I am. Amen. I I mean, he, he was touched by the spirit. He was proselytizing. He really got into Robot Mike. He almost changed tone of his voice for a second. It was that crazy. It was madness. Sunday people, how are we? 14 days ago this convention started. I was clean shaven. And now here we are. Sweet, merciful crap. This is a long one. Robot Mike was just a wee robot. <laughs> it was, he, was, he was Robot Mike 1.0. Yeah. Now he's 2.0. Was that Robot Mike growing? <laughs> the big robot mic on an elevator, I think. <laughs> um, so here we are. We've survived for the most part. Some parts of us are dead, like my voice. But the rest of us, has, we have survived. We have done this journey together, clasping hands, weeping openly as we forge into unknown territories that were hurt. Las Vegas, Nevada's four day supernatural convention. It has been an edifying journey, Robert. I had no. Robert Eddings. I had no Matthew Cohen. I essentially was stripped nude to bear everything for all peoples for the first two and a half days of this time. And I did so with glee because I'm a perv. <laughs> and also because I had no choice. I had to figure out how do I move this mountain? How do I roll this boulder without the comedy styles of Rob Benedict and the Chiseled House and Matt, Matt Cohen. But we found a way together, people. We did. Thursday, people, are you in the house today? <laughs> That's commitment, buddy. That's commitment. Four days. Four days is long. Four right? days. How many people, now that we have new, fresh Sunday people here, how many people are experiencing their very first supernatural convention this weekend? How many of them? That's good. A lot of fresh faces, probably. Fresh faces, which is the opposite of our faces right now. Not fresh. Not fresh at all. Um, it's so... I mean, it's so much. It's so great. It's wall to wall. I don't know how Adam and Gary and Stephanie do it. Do this all. Put together a show of this caliber that starts that early and goes this long and it never breaks stride. Never fails to entertain. It must be the fact that this show is fueled by Satan. <laughs> and the fact that you cheer that makes you dark and weird. <laughs> but let me tell you something, kiddo. I'm Captain Dark and Weird. That's Robbie. It's true. Dark and weird. It's very dark. And <laughs> very weird. But we're here together. We pulled this off. And now... As a reward for your tireless efforts, for being here on Thursday, love you. We're going to the cocktail party to have wine with Matt Brewer and Elena Husband. We're coming back early on Friday morning, a usual day one that was into day two, to be baptized by me, to be indoctrinated into the high church for the Holy Dick on Friday. You did that. And I did that, but you let me do it. You let me do it to you. You can't lie now. Praise Jesus. It's on film. It's on 700 people filmed it. They know you joined the church. They know I'm your pastor. They know that now. 
Uh, Pastor Dick? <laughs> yes, Rob? I just came. It's boring on the... Uh, it's getting creepy, Pastor Dick. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that, that, that's, that's kind of the, the bit in St. Benedictine. <laughs> Bribe them into joining the church. What, it was what I did or didn't do when you were gone is none of your damn business. <laughs> things, things don't get normal until you clock in. Except my, except my humble apologies. The, the, the moral center of the weekend is Rob Benedict. When he's gone, it's everybody for them as themselves. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's mayhem. It's Sodom and Gomorrah in here. Hey, hey. What? You're damn right it was. Boom! <laughs> Um, so, you survived the indoctrination into the High Church of the Holy Dick. You then got to see fantastic people strolling across the stage all night, leading into what I like to call an event of magnitude and music that is the karaoke party. Woo! You were there for that? You didn't stop there. You woke up, you clocked in, you came here yesterday, all day, seeing Mark Shepard. Who was just tea tiny and touch based. <laughs> and all the great people we had yesterday, and many of you, the wise ones, then gathered here to be bathed in the magical, mystical, musical melodies of Loud Swain and the Saturday Night <laughs> It was just fantastic. It was fantastic, and now here you are. This is your reward. Your reward is lumber sexuality. At its highest level. Done at a professional level. I'm sure you have lumber sexual friends at home. We all do. Yes, sir. They're amateurs. <laughs> These are professional lumber sexuals, brother. Tailors craft those flannel shirts. The toque that he wears to cover the toupee line. <laughs> and that long, fat shit. I want to say that. Uh, it's not a toupee. Um, all that hair that gets stuffed up in that hat, like Bob Marley, it's all crammed in there. You know, I was at, I was at the dressing room the other day, and I watched I, I watched them groom that hair. It was a spectacle. How many people does it take? Uh, half a dozen. Half a dozen. <laughs> Just on the hair. Baker's dozen. The team of people. He's like the princess and the pea. Just sort of the hair dryer. Oh my god. He was trying to have a conversation with me. I, it was blah blah blah. I was just like, God damn that hair. <laughs> he has one person to uh, pull the hair, one person to brush the hair, one person to pan the hair, and one person just to stand nearby crying. That's about right. That's that right. Yes, you get to see the boys today. How excited are you? <laughs> we warmed you up with Mark Shepard. We kept you warm with Misha Collins. And now we're gonna turn up the heat. We're gonna turn up the heat every day and day on this day. And you're gonna live out all your faux fantasies by looking at them and thinking that one day they will be yours and they will not. But that's okay. Because all we need to do is keep the dream alive, kids. And we are going to fuel your passion, your obsession, your addiction. We are going to keep the dream alive. We're gonna have these boys on the stage and you're gonna have your moment that you overpaid for. And you're gonna have them love it. other cities and you're going to become part of the Supernatural Convention family and that is why you are officially parishioners in the high church of the Holy Day. Welcome to my ceremony. Welcome to my church. Let's rock this thing boys. Let's make this party happen. It all went haywire, but that doesn't matter. Because the show runs itself. 
Robbie and I are dead weight. Oh, you need us on Thursday. You're dying for help on Friday. And Saturday, you're clinging to us like a child in a theme park, afraid of losing their parents. But on Sunday, you're all, get the old guys off the stage. <laughs> I know. This, this is where you get food. This is where you get food. Your attitude really changed. You really turn into a turd on Sunday, I'll be honest. Really? You really <laughs> pickled. You really turn on me. After everything. You have to without us on Saturday. Your boy comes Sunday. Oh boy, we're too hot. Yeah, I'm sorry. Get you... what's his name and the little guy off the stage. <laughs> all over yesterday's news. Ouch. You know what? Ouch. Hashtag too soon. Hashtag it hurts. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to bring out people onto this stage. Young, fabulous people who are also Winchesters. We're warming you up with greatness. Ladies and gentlemen, our first